What's up you guys, hope you're all doing good and welcome to our Dream Dot channel once again. For those who are visiting our channel for the first time, let me quickly introduce myself. I'm Jagdish, a software developer with around 10 years of experience. In our channel, we have been trying to cover the basics of Java programming. So if you're interested in learning Java from the fundamentals, don't forget to check out our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about two important keywords and concepts in Java called as throw and throws in Java. To know about the throw and throws, it is just a continuation of the exception handling in Java, so which we have covered in our previous video. If you have missed it, you can go and check it, check it out. So this video is just an extension of the previous one. That is how are we going to handle the exceptions in Java. So to quickly reiterate what we have seen in the previous video, we have seen about exceptions, how to handle the exceptions, and why should the exceptions should be handled, and what are the types of the exceptions. So this is the sample code that we use, like if you divide a number by zero, it is going to throw an arithmetic exception, it should be caught. And if you're trying to access an array like out of its size, then it's going to show an array index out of bound exceptions and all those exceptions should be caught. So these are some of the exceptions that is thrown by a Java during compile time and during run time. Okay. So what if you wanted to throw a particular exception, if you are not happy with a particular logic or if you are not happy with how, uh, uh, like if, if you are not happy with a particular scenario and if you wanted to handle that scenario in a specific way by throwing the exception, even that can be made possible in Java. So to know, uh, so let's really write a sample code. Sorry for this interruption. Yeah. Let's try to quickly write a sample code. So where I'm going to check the eligibility of all the customers in your particular company. For example, I'm going to have a method. So it is going to be a static method. And the name of the method is going to be check eligibility. And this method is going to take in two arguments like it is going to take in the salary at the same time it is going to take in the age of the employees. And you're trying to um, so what is it telling there is some error return type is missing. Yes. So it's not going to return anything. So let's keep it that way. So we are trying to check the eligibility of the employees and company. So we are setting in like we are going to uh, uh, give in some uh, promotions uh, for the uh, employees in the company. But there is a specific condition that the management had put forth. Like if the salary of the employee is more than 75K and at the same time, if the age of the employee is more than some 50, so you say that that particular employee is not eligible for this particular promotion. So you can say as ineligible, ineligible. So rest all other employees, you say that they are all eligible for this particular promotion. So this is a simple code that we have written and we can try to call this particular code from here. So check eligibility is a method. Yes. So salary, I'm going to supply in some 65,000. Yes and the age let it be some is of 33 years of age so this particular employee since he is earning 65000 and he is 33 years of age obviously he is going to be eligible for this particular promotion suppose imagine a scenario if my input is also of this kind and i don't want to handle the code this way i wanted to throw this as an exception and handle it in a common way because there could be multiple scenarios where we need to do, do this. For example, there could be one other condition like, uh, so there could be one other block. So else if, so you can say that if the salary alone is more than 80,000, yeah, at that time also, if the salary alone is more than 85,000, even at that time, you can say that the user is not eligible for the particular promotion. So you can do of this kind. So I don't want to write this code again and again and again. Instead, I wanted to handle it in a generic way. So what can we do? So in that scenarios, we can try to throw an exception, which are all covering this common scenarios, and we can try to handle it. So how can we throw an exception? So normally we have seen Java throws exception during compile time and runtime. It throws you exceptions like some out of the box exceptions like arithmetic exceptions, array index, out of bound exceptions null pointer exception there are lots of other exceptions how can a user throw an exception using this code based on a particular logic so the keyword that we need to use is throw and you can throw in whatever the exception that you want so here i'm just throwing in a generic exception so throw new exception and it will ask you for a message so if you want you can try in a message 
so for example this is a generic exception or you, you can say the user is ineligible so ineligible exception ineligible exception you can say it as an ineligible exception and if you throw it your particular code will ask you to handle that particular exception so as we have seen earlier how to handle an exception it should be inside a try block and it, the exception should be handled inside the catch block so whatever the code is throwing the exception should be inside the try block and i will handle the exception over here so exception e and i can just print it in a common way like exception has happened exception and i can try to print in the object so now you don't want to print this ineligibility everywhere i can just remove all these things and i can just throw the exception wherever i feel that the particular user is not eligible for the promotion i can throw in the exception and now if i and if i try to make this code fail by making use of uh, code like for example if this user salary is 85000 and if his age is 60 and now if i try to run this particular program it will run as java application it will say that exception an exception has happened and you can just print in that it is an ineligible exception because what has happened is that i have called this particular code method so salary is 85000 so it has like this condition has got satisfied and i have thrown that particular exception and the exception has been caught over here and it is telling exception is whatever the message that you have supplied over there will get printed over here so this is the importance of uh, throw a keyword in java so where you can uh, throw the exception so it can be an out of the box exception or it can even be a custom exception i will tell you in the future tutorials like how to create a custom exception in java of your own name of your own custom logic i'll tell you that in future but for now let's keep it simple like you can throw an exception using a throw keyword and you have to create the exception and you can throw the object and you can catch it in the catch block and handle it the way you want hope you found this video informative if you really like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll meet you in the next exciting video soon